Hi guys, it has been forever since I have done a YouTube video. Um, where do I start? Anyways, so I have been getting tons and tons and tons and tons of requests on my favorite foundations and full coverage without getting the cake. So I decided I would intertwine them into one. So I look a little crazy right now. This is before I got my eyes completely done. I'm going to make this into a Valentine's Day look um, to finish it. Maybe throw in a red lip. Um, so the products I will be using to do my face are Clinique and Tarte. Pretty much my two favorite face products. Um, Clinique all day is one foundation I will always go back to. It's like the OG foundations, I swear. Um, fully pigmented, creamy finish, full coverage. Um, just my fave. I'm not too big on mattes foundations anyways. They kind of make me look flat. Um, I've tried a few and I just wasn't thrilled. So anyways, Tarte Shape Tape. I know I've said it in every single one of my videos, but it's the bomb. So let's get started. For my face primer today, I'm gonna be using Hangover. I like thinner face primers, not the um, silicone based ones. I like more of the hydrating ones. This is gonna be more of like a lotion, thin, um, hydrating kind of consistency. Reason being because I wear so much coverage. I don't like it to just be too thick to where I feel like I just like wipe away with the wind. So, as you can see, my brows are all carved out and everything. We are ready to go. So now that I got my primer on, kind of just like wave it dry, wave it dry. And we're going to go in with my concealer. Bring it. No one said the process was cute. Okay, it's the after look that matters. I'm going to go in with an angled concealer brush. This is going to get right into the creases and I'm just going to kind of dab it on. Going to go up in the corners and underneath. Because my face is so not cute and I do that I'm like but we all do it so judgments to yourself please okay so now that I lined that out I'm just gonna bring it down Honestly, like half my face is usually concealer I wear it underneath my eyeshadow carve my brows and underneath my eye I like to go one shade lighter than my skin with concealer because it really brightens up underneath and kind of starts a contour. There you have it. I bring it down to my nose and up. Kind of meets in with the brows a little bit. Now, Clinique. Layer this bad boy on pretty much everywhere. Um, It's like flying. Do you guys see it? Drop all over me. Hmm. Beautiful. Anyways, now I'm going to go in with I'm not too picky on brushes or sponges. Honestly, I use both. Um, honestly, it just depends on the mood. I feel like if I use something too many times in a row, I naturally just get sick of it and don't like it, so I have to switch it up. Today, I'm gonna be using the Velvet Lux Soft Focus by Itch Cosmetics. It's a velvet collection. It is amazing. It is probably, honestly, my favorite brush I own. Um, it is just perfect small dense soft easy to clean bulletproof it will last me forever so when I do foundation I kind of do dabbing motions I'm just gonna kind of dab it all around I'm starting to look human here Mm 
and just to blend my concealer in a little bit better with the foundation, I'm just going to grab my concealer brush and make sure that they blend very nice so there's no lines. Voila! Now, underneath my eye and my face are two different steps as well. I love full coverage on full coverage on full coverage. So I like to set my face with the MAC Studio Fix Powder. It is the creamiest powder, you guys. If you're dry, if you have acne, it this will not bundle up around it and make it look chalky or dry. It is just creamy. It makes it look buttery smooth. It is my favorite powder to this day that I have found. Um, I don't think I've... I don't even think I own another powder and you guys I own a lot of makeup so once again I'm just gonna get a small dense brush like this swirl it and pack I like packing powder on top of a liquid because sometimes if you do circular motions you're moving the liquid around and that's where things can start to look muddy and patchy so dab it's the only dabbing I do <laughs> Just kidding, that was super corny, but I know you guys saw that meme, so I don't even feel bad about it. And if you haven't, look it up. So, if you haven't noticed, I'm pretty much avoiding underneath my eye. Because I'm going to save that for setting powder because naturally us women, you know, we crease, we have creases under there. It doesn't matter on what age. Um, you know, I've, I've met younger women with creases. I've met older women with creases. So people just have creases underneath their eyes. So it's harder to build up the full coverage, full coverage underneath there without things settling. So one of my favorite, all time favorite setting powders is the Cover FX. It's not gonna be as thin as like the Morphe, the Morphe's is more, I like, how do I explain it? Underneath the eye kind of can look like a little tissue papery. So something like this I like to set my face with if I'm looking for just like a lighter coverage on my face. I like this one because it's a little bit more creamy, um, has a little bit more of um, a white afterglow, a little bit more fluffy, and I can just really pack underneath my eye with it. I'm getting really low, so I kind of like dab it out. Um, I like to use the cap because it doesn't get everywhere and kind of like a, I want to say this is like a crease brush, Morphe. If you don't know um, who or what Morphe is, they're amazing. They have the most amazing prices for good quality products. Um, there's some products in store like at Ulta where I work, but a lot of it's online. Anyways, so I like to just kind of dab it in and dab it on. And this will help underneath your eye from creasing. It sets the makeup. It keeps that whiter contrast. So you have more of that contoured look we're going for once again. And it really helps. Like, I think that it helps your makeup, mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, and all of that from running on your foot down your face too. So it just keeps everything in place. Da, 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 da. Now, I know that contouring is intimidating. There's so many different ways you can do it. Blush, creams, sticks, palettes, bronzers, four different color bronzers. I'm very simplistic with mine, to be honest. Um, half the time I don't even use blush. I tend to think what goes on your face is more preferable. As long as you add some color back into your face after using a full coverage. Um, one of my favorite products to contour or bronze with, if I can find it, is going to be, here we go. It's Max Mineralized Skin Finish. This one's Global Glow. It is the most beautiful illuminating bronzer ever. I'm obsessed with this product. Um, I like to take, just like you can take like a small, just skinny brush to kind of just lightly feather it on. Um, I also dab with this. Lighter skin your brushes like this, you can really get underneath the cheekbone. I'm just now creating the shape of my cheekbone, if you can see the difference between sides now. 
This is the Double Gleam Highlighter. I'm not too big on like funky highlighter colors. I'm more of just like the champagnes and the goldens and the whites, but. So anyways, this is highlighter. I'm bringing it along the highest points of my face, my nose, my cheeks, Cupid's bow. You can also use the highlighter and bring it in to like underneath your eye. So it just flows very nice. And there's that. Now, I know I've already said I'm not a big blush person. So this would honestly finish my face on the daily. But just to show those of you who um, have questions um, where I would put it. This one is Becca Foxglove. And it's a very pretty like fuchsia. Everything I put on my face is highlighter in it. <laughs> but anyway, so it's just a very pretty color. Um, I'm just gonna use the same brush I use for my bronzer and my highlighter and I'm gonna kind of dip it in and I'm gonna put it right there. Dab it like six times and then follow it up so it's not like a big pink streak on my cheek but it just ombres nicely. Can you see the difference? Now blush is different too. You can put it more around up here. I like to do it right on the cheeks because that's where I naturally get more pink. And to complete the full coverage look, my personal favorite, let me grab it here, is going to be Max Fix Plus. Once again, they are my favorite. So everything I own is pretty much MAC. That is a lie, but I do own a lot of MAC. But anyways, this is the new Fix Plus scent. It's rose. Oh my God, if you guys have not smelled or bought or known about these there's a coconut a lavender and a rose now and the rose is my all-time favorite the lavender smell they all smell really good but so this kind of not only sets the face and is very hydrating but it melts everything down so when you use as many powders as i just did it really just melts it to the face and makes it look very light and creamy without having all the chalky residues hold it about a foot away oh this one's new so it's taking a second Hold about a foot away. And then fan. And you are complete. I can throw a lip on for you guys too. Once again, I um, am doing... Let me grab my lip liner. I am doing a Valentine's Day look. So the... Theme is going to be red, valentine -y, pretty. Obviously, I like this lip liner. This is going to be, um, this lip liner is the Urban Decay's Bad Blood. Love, 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 love lip liner. I put lip liner underneath everything, even if I completely recover my whole lip with a liquid lip. Um, just like a nice filler, nice base. You can shape everything up very nice. Outline a little bit. And so now I'm just going to go right over that. And this is Smashbox Metallic Matte, always on. It has a little bit of a metallic in it. Can you see it? This is a liquid lip, so it'll last a long time throughout the day. And there you have it. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. Um, I look forward to making more videos with you now that I'm all settled into my new place. So if you want to see anything, please request them. Comment below, like, share, do all the deeds. Love you. Mwah. Have a good night.